Hi everyone, so the other day I stumbled upon a post on Kaggle titled Where it pays to attend college, salaries by college, region, and academic major. Now in this post there are three individual data sets, salary increase by type of college, salaries by region, and salary increase by major. Now for this video, I'm just going to be using the last data set and I'll be trying to figure out which major pays the most when you're beginning your career and which major pays the most when you're in the middle of your career. I'll also be using R to manipulate and graph the data. So if analytics is not your type of thing, there's gonna be a time code in the video that you can skip to for the recap. If you ever wondered if your major is gonna be a great investment for you, then I think this video is gonna be a great resource. For those who are still undecided on their major or plan to go to college in the future, this video might be a great resource for you. Of course, there are gonna be certain limitations of the data set, and I'll summarize them towards the end of the video. But without further ado, let's jump straight to the data. So here we are in R, and I've already done all the work just to save us a lot of time. So real quick, we wanna import the data, and when we look at it, we'll see that it has eight total columns, major, start median salary, mid-career salary, percent change, and then the mid-career salaries in certain percentiles. Next, we wanna look for missing data values. If there are any zeros or NAs, it's gonna mess up our data analysis of my a lot. So when we run it, it says that we have zero, so we're good to go. So next, we wanna graph the starting median salary. So here's the graph for starting median salaries. I'm not gonna be covering too much of it because I'll be saving it for the recap. But you can see physician assistant is number one and Spanish is last. Okay, so next is gonna be the mid-career median salary graph. And again, I already have it, so let me just pull it up. So here's the mid-career median salary graph. And from the prior graph, physician assistant was number one. Now it's still near the top, but the STEM-related majors are first. So the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So lastly, I'm gonna plot out the mid-career salary by percentiles. And so here's the plot. The brown basically represents what majors earn in the mid-career in the 10th percentile. The yellow is gonna be the median salary in the 25th percentile. Here's the 75th, and then here's the 90th. From this plot, I think two majors really stand out. The first is gonna be economics, where the 90th percentile median salary is the highest. The second point I wanna highlight is physician assistant. If you recall, they were actually the highest starting median salaries. But from this data, it seems like there's not as much potential career and earnings growth compared to the other majors. Okay, so just to recap, this information was from Kaggle, and I'll have the link in the description. The data was obtained from a year-long survey of 1.2 million people with only a bachelor's degree by Payscale Inc. And to make all this data analysis possible, I used R to manipulate and graph the data. So the data pertain to 50 unique majors, including biology, chemistry, computer science, business, economics, English, history, psychology, and others. There were eight total data columns, including majors. The other seven were starting median salary, mid-career median salary, percent change from starting to mid-career salary, and then the mid-career salary in four different percentiles, the 10th, 25th, 75th, and 90th. For this video, we're not gonna be using the percent change data values. Although it has interesting information, it's just not what we're looking for in this video. The first graph that we looked at was the starting median salary ranked from highest to lowest. At the top of the list was physician assistant at $74,300. And at the bottom was Spanish at just $34,000. Next, we looked at mid-career median salary. We noticed that whereas physician assistant was number one and starting median salary, it's still near the top, but the STEM majors were at the top of the list. So science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Similarly, Spanish, religion, and education remained the bottom three. And now let's look at the starting median salary graph and the mid-career median salary graph side to side. The five highest starting median salaries were physician assistant, chemical engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. The five lowest starting median salaries were Spanish, religion, education, criminal justice, and journalism. And now when we look at the highest mid-career median salaries, Chemical engineering is the new number one, followed by computer engineering, electrical engineering, aerospace engineering, and economics. 
The five lowest mid-career median salaries were education, religion, Spanish, interior design, and music. The last plot that we looked at in R was the mid-career salary by percentiles. In the brownish plots, you'll see what the majors earn in the 10th percentile in their mid-career. The yellow indicated what they'd earn in the 25th percentile, followed by the 75th percentile, and then lastly the 90th percentile. Again, I'd like to point out two specific majors. The first major is going to be economics, where you can see a huge discrepancy in the 25th, 75th, and 90th percentile. The second major that I wanted to point out was physician assistant. If you recall, it ranked first in the starting median salaries, but as you can see in this graph, the range isn't as wide compared to the other majors. So lastly, I wanted to talk about the takeaways from this video. So first of all, there are some safe bets when it comes to majors with high potential earnings. Those majors are most likely going to be related to STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. If you wanted the highest probability that your major that you chose would be a great return on investment, those would be a good choice. Alternatively, if you enjoy one of those subjects, you're motivated by money, or if you're passionate about it, it's probably going to be one of the safer bets. However, there are limitations from this video. Number one is going to be the accuracy of data. We don't know how accurate this data is. Although it's the median salary, so we aren't affected by extreme outliers, we still have to take to account that this was just a survey, and so this information probably isn't 100% accurate. The next limitation is that salary varies by location. What you would earn in the Bay Area or New York wouldn't be the same as a smaller market. So we do have to take that into account as well. The last limitation is job availability. Although economics is the highest mid-career median salary in the 90th percentile, that doesn't mean that there are going to be openings everywhere. If you're going to work in your hometown, it'd be worthwhile to understand the type of market you're in and know what type of majors they're looking for. On the other hand, if you're willing to relocate, you have a little bit more flexibility. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this video. I hope this video was at least helpful, if not entertaining. If you have any other suggestions or R tips, I would love to know. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you all next time. Peace.